नमस्कार गुड आफ्टरनून यू आर वाचिंग पीएम ई विद्या चैनल्स एंड एन सी ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल वी ब्रिंग यू द लाइव टेलीकास्ट ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ ऑन दिस चैनल नाइन मैथमेटिक्स टॉपिक इज लाइंस एंड एंगल्स पार्ट थ्री एंड आई एम श्योर वी आर गोइंग टू कंक्लूड दिस चैप्टर टूडे सो बी रेडी एंड मेमोराइज पार्ट वन एंड टू इट विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड पार्ट थ्री सो आई वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइट मिस उषा पिल्लई जी फ्रॉम कैंपियन स्कूल भोपाल उषा जी नमस्कार एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम इन द सेशन गुड आफ्टरनून welcome in the show so i would request you to please start so that uh, we can understand what is the conclusion of this uh, lines and angles part 3 and we have uh, some questions for you as well so we will uh, include all these questions in the last part of the segment would request you to please start so oh, good afternoon students in the last class we studied about lines and angles properties of lines and angles and different types of angles and their properties today we are going to study about triangles and the properties of triangles what is a triangle you are already studied about definition of a triangle a polygon with the three sides is called a triangle and it has three angles and three vertices so what are the properties of a triangles this we have studied in seventh class the same is given here as theorems and we had to prove some theorems so first is the sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degree here we are given a triangle abc and we had to prove angle a plus b plus c equal to 180 degree for that what we had to do first first we had to prove a line eq parallel to bc passing through a it is very important to write passing through a because we can draw a line eq parallel to bc at any here in this plane but it is very important the point is draw eq parallel to bc passing through a and only we can prove this theorem easily so in this figure we can see eq parallel to bc by construction so angle pab equal to abc why anybody can say this is alternate interior of interior angles of this parallel lines and ab is a transverse given and also angle qac equal to angle acb these are also alternate interior angles this pair of alternate interior angles are given now we can have angle paq is a straight line so angle pab plus bac plus angle caq equal to 180 degree why this angle lies in a straight line so we can substitute the values of angle pab and angle qac in this that is angle abc plus angle bac plus angle acb equal to 180 that is in this figure angle a plus b plus c equal to 180 since we are proved this angle some property of a triangle now the next property is exterior angle property of a triangle this also you have studied exterior angle means when we are extending one side of a triangle we get an exterior angle there are three exterior angles in a triangle so what is this exterior angle property if the side of a triangle is produced then the exterior angle so formed is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles that is in this figure we can say angle a and exterior angle given equal to interior opposite angles that is angle a plus angle b this, this is this property and by using these two properties we can solve so many questions and we are studying about the applications of properties of a triangle so up for solving this question first one in this figure in this given figure sides qp and rq of triangle pqr are produced to two points and d respectively if angle spr is equal to 135 degree and pq t equal to 110 degree two exterior angles are given find angle p r q this angle we have to find we can find this angle by using different properties that are already studied in lines and angles first and second part and then here we can use the properties of triangles also so here first property we are using is 
linear pair property that is 110 that is angle t to p plus angle p q r is equal to 180 degree that is 110 plus angle p q r is equal to 180 degree that is linear pair so we can say angle p q r is equal to 180 minus 110 that is 70 degree now in the second part we have to find angle p r q we know these two angles these two angles are exterior angles of 135 so by using exterior angle property we can say angle PRQ equal to 135 minus angle PQR. What is PQR? 70 degree. We can subtract these two angles. That is 135 minus 70 is 65 degree. This way we can solve these type of questions. Now in the second part, in this figure we are given angle X is equal to 62 degree, angle Y equal to 54 degree. And if O Y by O and O Z are the bisectors of angle Y and Z. Then find angle O Z by O Z by and Y O Z. How can we find these angles? For the first, we need angle Z. How to find in triangle X Y Z? Angle X plus Y plus Z is equal to 180 by angle sum property. So these measures are given, X and Y are given as 62 and 54 degrees. 62 degree plus 54 degree plus angle Z is equal to 180. So we can say angle Z is equal to 180 minus 116. That is 64 degrees. So we call angle Z is equal to 64 degree by angle sum property. Now, how to find and other angles? First, we can find O Z Y. Before that, we can have bisectors of these angles, Y and Z are given. So, if we are taking half of this, we get angle O, Y, Z and O, Z, Y. So, O, Y, Z equal to 54 upon 2 is 27 degree and angle O, Z, Y equal to 64 upon 2 equal to 34. So, we got these two small angles in angle I, O, Z. So, in triangle O, Y, Z, by angle sum property, we can say sum of these three angles is 180 degree. And we can substitute the values of this O, Y, Z, and O, Z, Y as 27 plus 32 plus angle Y, O, Z equal to 180 degree. So we can have angle Y, O, Z equal to 180 minus what is 27 plus 32? is 59 so we can subtract this 59 from 180 we get this angle by o z as 121 degree this is another type of question that is bisectors are given how to find the different types of angles okay. now in the next question mm -hmm. yes G -G, if, please please be continue if a b parallel to d and angle B A C equal to 35 degree and C D E equal to 53 degree. How to find angle D C E this angle? So here okay. in the question we are given A B parallel to D. So we can say angle C E D equal to C E D this angle equal to angle P A C that is alternate, alternate interior, interior angle. angles. That is equal to 35 degree. Okay. Both are equal. We are already studied. If a transversal intersect two parallel lines, a pair of alternate interior angles are always equal. Just in triangle DCE, here we got this angle, and here it is given as 53. So we can find DCE by angle sum property of a triangle. So by using angle sum property, angle D plus DCE plus angle E equal to 180. So we can substitute the values that angle D C E equal to 180 minus 53 plus 35 is 88. So we got this value of angle D C E as 92 degree. Okay. Now in the next question, we are given this figure and the sides A B and A C of triangle A B C are produced to points E and D, and we got two exterior angles here. Now, if bisectors of, bisectors of these angles, BO and CO, intersect at O, we have to prove angle BOC equal to 90 minus angle BAC. 
by using this relation we can solve so many questions in first term exam you have mcq questions here we are proving this property but you have to apply it in the mcq questions for finding different angles so for after proving this relation all of you have to remember what is the relation between these two angles angle boc and angle bac so now in this figure we can say angle cpo equal to half of angle cbe cbe is a bisector angle how can we get this cbe that is 180 minus y by using linear pair property this ab is a straight line so we can say y plus angle cb is equal to 180 degree so y equal to and no this angle cbe equal to 180 minus y and we can take half of 180 minus y so cbo equal to 90 minus y by 2 similarly we can say this angle bco equal to 90 minus z by 2 in the same way we can prove Now in triangle BOC, this angle BOC, angle CBO plus angle BC BOC plus angle BCO equal to 180. So we can substitute these values above given. 90 minus y by 2 plus angle BOC plus 90 minus z by 2 equal to 180. That is angle BOC is equal to 180 minus 180 minus. Come here so. Transpo transposing y by two will be plus. So we can say one eighty is cancelled, and here we go. Y plus z equal to two. Now in the second part, in triangle ABC, we can take angle sum property as x plus y plus z is equal to one eighty degree. So y plus z is equal to one eighty minus x. In the above relation, we can substitute. Here we got. BOC is equal to y plus z upon 2. So here we can substitute the value of BOC y plus z as 180 minus x. That is angle BOC is equal to 180 minus x whole upon 2. That is 180 upon 2 is 90 minus x by 2. X is angle BAC. So we can say angle BOC is equal to 90 minus angle BAC upon 2. Suppose this angle is 60 degree. What will be BOC? BOC is equal to 90 minus 60 upon 2. 60 upon 2 is 30. So 90 minus 30 is 60, 60. In this way, we can solve. If we are given this angle, we can find angle BOC, and if we are given BOC, we can find angle BOC by this relation. So all of you remember this relation between these angles when exterior angle are bisector. By O B and O C, and it is a pair of O. Then what is the relation between the angles? Okay. So in the next question, mm -hmm. in this figure we are given P Q and R S intersect at P such that this angle P R T is equal to 40 degree, R P Q E is equal to 95, and T S Q equal to 75 degree. Find angle S Q. This angle we we have to find. So in this triangle, first we are given two angles. So easily we can find this angle. How to find it by angle sum property? In triangle PRT, by angle sum property, we can write angle P plus angle R plus angle PTR equal to 180 degree. So we PTR angle PTR is equal to 180 minus 40 plus 95. That is 135 equal to 45. This angle we got as 45 degree. So what can be this angle? The same measure. Why? Because these are vertically opposite angles. We are already studied. If two lines are intersecting at a point, pair of vertically opposite angles are equal. So we can say angle S E Q equal to 45 degree by the property vertically opposite angles. Now we we have to find this angle. In this triangle, these two angles are already given. So how can we find this angle by angle sum property? In in this triangle, angle S T Q plus S plus S Q T equal to 180. So we can have 45 plus 75 plus T Q S equal to 180. So angle S Q T equal to 180 minus 45 plus 75 is 120. 
So 180 minus 120 is 60. So now the next question is, in this figure, the side QR of triangle PQR is produced to a point S. If the bisectors of angle PQR and PRS it meet at point T, then prove that angle QT at this angle equal to half of angle QPR. How to prove it? Here, exterior angles are given. So we can use exterior angle property for proving this. Here in triangle PQR by exterior angle property, we can say angle PRS equal to angle P plus angle PQR in the area opposite angles. We are given bisectors of these two angles. So we can take half of angle PRS equal to half of angle P plus half of angle PQR. What is angle, a half of angle PRS? We can say these two angles, TRS or TRP. Any angle we can take, but here we need TRS. So we can take TRS is equal to angle T plus, no, half of angle P plus angle TQR. Here also the half of this angle is TQR we are taking. The two angles are given, this one we are taking. So the, this is the first equation. Now in the second triangle TQR, the exterior angle is TRS. So angle TRS is equal to angle T plus angle TQR. This one is the second equation. Here we can see on ellipses of these two equations, both are equal as angle TRS. So we can equate the RHS from equations 1 and 2. We can have half of angle T plus angle TQR equal to angle T plus angle TQR. Here bisectors are given. So we can take half of the portion. If we are taking half of this angle Q, we can take TQT or TQR. And if we are taking angle PRS, half of angle PRS, these two portions are equal. We are taking this part because the exterior angle of this triangle TQR is this. So we have to correlate these two relations. So we are taking PRS and TQR. So we got here angle TQR is cancelled. And if we cut half of angle QPR is equal to angle QTR. So in the next question, if the bisectors of angle B and C of a triangle ABC intersect at O, prove that angle BOC equal to half of angle BAC. This kind of one relation we have done just before one question, but that are exterior angles of a triangle. Here we are bisecting interior angles of a triangle. So the relation is also angle BOC is equal to 90 plus half of angle BAC. How to prove it? There also we can, here we can use angle sum property of a triangle. Here we are use exterior angle property and angle sum property. Now how to prove it? In this triangle ABC, Angle A, B, A plus B plus C equal to 180 by angle sum property of a triangle. So here, bisectors are given. So we can write half of angle A plus angle B plus angle C equal to 180 degree. Half of angle A plus, what is half of angle B? In this picture, we can see half of angle B is noted as 1. And half of angle C is noted as 2. We can substitute these values here. That is half of angle A plus angle 1 plus angle 2 equal to 90. So angle 1 plus 2 equal to 90 minus half of two. angle A. Here it is transposing to right side. So as will change into minus. Okay. Now in the second part, we can have angle BOC equal to 180 minus uh, in triangle BOC by angle sum property, we can write angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle BOC equal to 180. And therefore, we can write angle BOC is equal to 180 minus angle 1 plus 2. So, what is 1 plus 2? We are already proved it here. What is 1 plus 2? 90 minus half of angle A. So, we can substitute this value in angle BOC equal to 180 minus. 
90 minus half of angle A. If you are opening the bracket minus 90, minus of minus is plus half of angle A. So we can have 180 minus 90 is 90 degree plus half of angle BAC. Now, in this question, we are used to only angle some property. And in exterior angle, the same type of question we are given here, we are used the exterior angle property. What is this angle sum property of a triangle? The sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degree. Now, in the next part, here in this question, we are given the angles in a triangle ABC are in the ratio 2 ratio, 3 ratio, 5. Then find the measure of each angle. How to find it? If they are given in ratios, we can take it as the numbers 2x, 3x, 5x. We, are, we can use the linear equation method. If we are given the angles as 2x, 3x, and 5x, the, by using angle sum property, we can write it as 2x plus 3x plus 5x equal to 180. That is 10x equal to 180. 5 plus 3 plus 2 is 10. 10x equal to 180. And x is equal to 180 upon 10, that is 18 degrees. Now, how can we find the measure of each angle? So, first angle is 2x, so we can have 2 into 18. Second angle is 3x, that is 3 into 8. Here, 2 into 18 is 36. And the second one is 3 into 18 is 54 degrees. And the third one is 5 into 18 is equal to 90. 90 degrees. In this way, we can find the angles of a triangle whenever we are given these angles in ratio. Now, we can conclude some of the properties with of triangles and okay. angles in this chapter. Okay. That is. Usha ma'am, we have Usha ma'am, we have hardly three minutes for you in this session, and also we yes. have a question. If you allow me to, uh, please put it in. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So we have received a question from Sumit Kare from Maharashtra. Uh, he sent a question, can we prove two angles equal by isosceles method? Huh. Yes, we can prove it. Mm -hmm. Isos two angles are equal, isosceles triangle. Suppose, one minute, I am going back to a triangle. First. Okay, Sumit, please keep watching. You will yes. get your answer in a while. Yes, yes. Here we are given a triangle ABC. And uh, we, ha we have to draw a an angle bisector here from A to B C. Suppose this is A D. Now once more listen here, we are given an isosceles triangle A B C where A B equal to A C is given and we can draw an angle bisector from A to B C as A D. So how can we prove it? In these two triangles A D B and A D C here we are given angle uh, AB is equal to AC because of isosceles triangle. And these angles, angle BAD and angle CAD are equal by construction. Okay. And the third condition we can take as AD. We are drawn an angle by AD. That is a common side for both the, triangle, both the triangles. So in these two triangles, the sides are equal. This is a common side we are taken. Mm -hmm. And these two angles are equal so both the triangles are contained by side angle side and therefore we can say angle b is equal to angle c by uh, cpct cpct means corresponding parts of congruent triangles are always equal so once okay. more i am repeating the same for uh, proving this theorem we have to draw it, an angle bisector from a to b c as a d suppose this point is d so AD is drawn in these two triangles ADB and ADC. AB is equal to AC given. Angle BAD equal to angle CAD equal to uh, equal by construction. AD is equal to AD common. So both the triangles are contained by SS contingency. So we can say angle B is equal to angle C by CPCT that is corresponding part so contained triangle. Okay, yes. right. Perfect. Perfectly fine. And I'm sure yes. Sumit will get his answer and he will, and he would be very happy. Thank you very much, Usha ma'am. Uh, you have joined us and you explained this lines and angles. And I'm sure this chapter is concluded now. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. 
So I would request all the students, please, uh, you know, spare some time and watch chapter one, means uh, session one, session two, and session three, along with all the three, uh, uh, you know, sessions. You will get confirmed, and everything will be there for uh, you uh, as a concept, as a method of you know solving these equations so it will be easy for you to maintain you know your momentum to achieve some goals in mathematics thank you very much usha ji you have joined us thank you very much for joining with this uh, for this uh, session class 9th thank you so our session comes to an end now don't go away uh, keep watching we will be right back with the next session of social science in which we are talking about uh, something interesting thank you very much keep watching namaskar <laughs>